<laughs> uh, look, if, if if you don't follow wrestling, that's okay. This is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so there was this guy named Lars Sullivan, and mm. if you follow wrestling, you know who we're talking about. Uh, he made uh, quite the impression in the developmental territories before they hit the big time at WWE. And he made the impression because he was a large brute. You know, a muscular monster of a man that was still pretty athletic. Yeah. I took quite uh, well to him. Yeah, you were like a huge Lars. You, who was hating at first, eventually were won over because, yeah. you know, he showed his prowess in the ring. I was ring. won over and I forgot what match it was, but it was a, it it was was a ladder a, match. Yeah, it was a ladder match. He was like jumping around. I was like, damn, homie. Yeah, he proved that he had uh, not only, a, uh, you know, he wasn't only a big imposing guy. Yeah. He could do stuff in the ring. So here's this monster of a character. He's like made for the big time to be this destroyer type character. And uh, so they promote him to the main, the mainstream, WWE, Raw, and SmackDown and all that jazz. He makes his debut. He, he does his thing. Uh, but then he has like this uh, anxiety attack. Yeah. And he kind of has to leave. Uh, WWE respects his wishes to recover. He leaves. He comes back, he hurts his tootsie or something, and he's out. But during this time of him being gone and getting hurt, um, some shit came out. Controversies. Controversy happened. Uh, you know, receipts were brought up. And basically the guy online, either trolling or real in real life, uh, said some fucked up shit. Yeah. That suggested some extreme right leanings. Some of them were taken out of proportion, uh, you know, taken out of proportion yeah. by some people. He might have said other things that I'm not aware of, so True. don't take, uh, don't take what I said uh, completely to heart. Uh, just the ones that I read, I wasn't particularly offended. Just ignorant tripe that people say and generalize with. We all generalize in some way. So anyway, I was like, that sucks. But I'm a forgiven guy. Fuck it, man. You know. If he's he if he can come back to that locker room full of black people yeah. and ethnic people and and make it and 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 make amends and I'm cool fuck it you can move on, um, well <laughs> mm, but... I don't think uh, he's gonna get that chance because ironically one of the people he targeted and this this one I felt was a little bit unforgivable was uh, uh, gays. Mm. Cause that wasn't even like a generalization thing. That was just like, yeah, I kind of hate gays, and gays an insult to me. Now we throw the gay word here around yeah. as, as a as a funny thing here, uh, just as we would anything else about anything else anyway. But he was like straight up like, no, nah, that's, that's a thing I don't like. <laughs> gay, <yeah. laughs> you know. So that's the only thing I didn't that I, again that I read that I didn't see eye to eye with him on. But again. During this time that he was down, boom, it comes out that this dude did gay for pay porn. Yeah, dude. Um, and it's like undeniable that it's him. Yeah, it's definitely him. Apparently, there's two videos that have been found. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to lie. We saw. Yeah, like, we had to see. It's on, it's, on, it's on Pornhub. It is apparently an 18 minute long video. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, the upload was only eight minutes long. Because Pornhub, dude. They cut up the build yeah, up. Yeah, dude. Or sometimes they edit it down to, quote unquote, the good parts. And you're like, I got to see the whole, not in this case, yeah. but but if it's a, like a cool video. Well, I kind of was like, I got to see this shit. <laughs> Me too. Me too, man. <laughs> like we, we literally sat there and saw gay porno for like eight minutes long. <laughs> yeah, two dudes in a room we considered... holding a fucking uh, phone going, damn, oh, this dude, is gay. This is super gay. We considered doing a reaction, but really it would have just instantly been taken down, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. Needless to say, it was extremely homosexual. <laughs> um, but look, it's, it's super gay, right? Yeah. Like he's getting his weenie sucked by a dude. Which I don't know if there's more. There might be more. Maybe. He wait, knows. wait, hold on. Before we go, I know where you're going. Before mm -hmm. you get there, let me say, keep that thought because it's, it's, it's relevant what you, where you're going. Uh, we got to say this. Yes, apparently there's two videos, yeah. and I can tell. From what is there, unless there's another video I'm unaware of, um, that these two videos were shot on the same day. Yeah. One of them's like, you know, like those when you're watching. If you're a guy that doesn't like to see dudes suck each other's weenies off, if you're if you're watching regular porn, sometimes there's just porn 
of a chick touching herself yeah. or just sitting there and posing and stuff. And then there's the video where she's actually getting fucked. That's kind of what this setup was yeah. with these videos. So it's clearly on the same day. And clearly this guy, uh, it's first time. Oh, yeah. You know. So now, now, yeah, now, now get to it. Yeah, look, so I'll get Oh, wait, 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 before, sorry. <laughs> and we say this is ironic because, again, he had said all this stuff about yeah. uh, uh, all these ignorant thoughts about things. And, and then the gays, he really went into them as an insulting thing. And then here this pops up. So now, okay, now. Go so ahead. yeah, gay though it may be because he is getting his weenie sucked by a dude. I got to give him a little bit of credit. Benefit of the doubt is what you want to say. Yeah, benefit we'll give of the doubt. give him credit. No, no credit. I'll, I'll give him a little, a little, a little, nope. A little credit. <laughs> <laughs> Just go with that. I'll give him a little credit that he wasn't, at least he wasn't like rock hard. Like he was, the homie was having a hard time getting up there, dude. This guy was sucking down on that freaking little worm. And that shit was flaccid the whole time. Yeah, man. And homie was like, this is a thing I'm doing, isn't it? Yeah, you could tell. I mean, obviously, you have to play it up for the screen. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you're gonna get, if you're, you're getting paid, you can't be like, oh, fuck, dude, yeah. this dude's going to suck my wing-wing. You know? <laughs> and we've seen it with chick porn. Sometimes, sometimes the chick's like, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. <laughs> nice yeah. sack. Nice sack, guy. <laughs> You're totally not an old weirdo. Yeah. You know, uh, you're hot, dude. And sometimes they are into it. And, you know, it, it varies. Yeah. But this guy, Lars, here performing as Mitch Bennett, in case you're curious to see it yourself. Yeah, look for him on Pornhub. Uh, clearly, <laughs> clearly he's like, this, is a, this is a thing I'm doing. And, yeah, like you say, that dude is trying to get that dude. That dude... Is gay for gay. You yeah, know, the dude that he's gay. with, yeah. he's like all into sucking that wing. Uh, <laughs> whereas Lars is like, ha 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 ha. This is cool. This is hot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is the coolest thing ever. Yep. Uh, I mean, obviously not that robotic, but you definitely get that air about it. Yeah, and that, that bad puppy is flaccid as shit, dude. Flaccid. So, uh, yeah, we got to give him props because clearly he was like, this is a thing. <laughs> And on top of that, again, uh, we didn't see the full video, just those eight minutes. Yeah, there might be some hardcore so, sex. I don't know. Yeah, if he got super hard, then maybe we have to take some of those props back. But what we saw, that this dude never got hard. No. He was like this. And he was, hey, man, you got to give him credit for this, too. He was trying to do his job. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Know? He was closing his eyes and probably imagining, I don't know, Alexa Bliss or something. There was one part. Yeah, there was one part where his weenie went a little chub. Trust me, we were we were taking we were keeping yeah. track of that weenie. We broke out the fucking measuring tapes. <laughs> there was a little. We bit. were on set apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, we're the directors. Uh, so yeah, there was a part where his weenie went a little up, but he was totally had his eyes closed and was looking up. It's like, damn, this is gonna be trying. Yeah. Uh, that being said. This video is super gay, like Im- impressively gay, <laughs> but somehow the gayest thing in this in this entire video, and it's a phenomena that I, I've grown to hate, uh-huh. was, uh, you know, there's a little, there's a little like, you know, touchy feely shit before the weenie comes out, and the gay homie goes down t- to Lars's like weenie area, you know, he's got like these little boxers or these little uh, underwear briefs on. And homie just starts sucking on that freaking underwear. Yeah, what is that, dude? It's like, homie, that's, that's just grody ass. Now, penis fabric. You might, if you're listening to this or watching this, you might be saying, wait a minute, what are they insinuating here? No, this is a phenomenon that happens in, like, regular porn. Yeah. Like, chicks biting through the underwear. <laughs> They trace the, the, the dong out, yeah, yeah, the and then they're like sucking on the dong sideways, but through the underwear. Yeah. And all I can think of while I'm watching, it's not hot. No, it's not. All I can think about is, damn, I hope that's a brand new underwear. Yeah, because like... Because that's some used underwear. It's not going to taste good, that <laughs> underwear juice. And even then, like like cloth, when you get it wet and you suck in, it's gross. Yeah. Like even mouth if, all dry and then it's wet again. Yeah. And what, what is this? Even if it's even if it's new, it has that disgusting taste. Yeah. So this, this, this chick's this chick's like, dude, this sucks, but I gotta do it. 
But no, this gay dude was like all in on yeah, like he was sucking that weenie, dude. Definitely into sucking that underwear outline. So that was like that was like the gayest thing in that video. Was the, the underwear sucking. To me, the 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 gayest thing was the kissing. Oh yeah. And what was fucked up about the kissing part was that, I guess since the 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 fucking the the you know the cock part hadn't come into play yet, uh, Lars. Here, Mitch Bennett again. Yeah. Uh, I guess he's like trying. He's he really is it. trying. And he's trying so hard that when the guy pulls away from the kiss, he's still like, uh, you know, like reaching out is like, oh, are we supposed to continue the kiss? Yeah. Or, oh, this is the end of the kiss? All right, now you can suck my underwear. <laughs> it was a solid shot at the, at the end once this guy's going hog wild on that floppy weenie. <laughs> Or it's just an extended shot of the guy bent over and his ass in the air. <laughs> I was like, oh, dude, it's a hairy ass. Yeah. Oh, man. So anyway, uh, we had to watch that because uh, we'd do it with anybody, honestly. If Undertaker yeah. released, oh, it was found out that he had done gay for pay. You're a liar if you don't want to see that shit. Yeah, dude. That, that, it's not for the the the, the gay butt you know sex. What? It's because it's like what that's the an, spectacle of that's it. It's interesting that you brought that up because you brought up this theory. Uh huh. And though I went against it, I actually fully agreed with it. Okay. The that the dude that found this video. Yeah, yeah. Was yeah. hella gay. <laughs> <laughs> Like, how do you find that shit, dude? This is an untouched subject. People are so focused on the fact that Lars Sullivan did gay for pay that they don't pay attention to the person that discovered it, which was clearly a guy. Yep. There's there's a very small amount of women that look for gay guy-on-guy porn. There's more women looking at chick-on-chick porn than there's guy-on-guy, women looking at guy-on-guy porn. Trust me. Quote me on that. Look up the stats. Trust me. Trust me. But I guarantee you the guy that found this one, first of all, was a guy. Yeah. Because the majority of wrestling fans are guys. Yep. Two was clearly not looking for Lars Sullivan. <laughs> yeah, he was just looking at gay porno. He was looking at gay porno and then realized, holy shit, that's Lars. And then went, turned around and said to everybody, yo, dudes, Lars in the gay porno. And everybody's laughing. And thinking it's hilarious because Lars, of all people, is in the gay porno. But nobody paid attention to the fact that this guy found <laughs> Lars getting his underwear sucked <laughs> all on his own. Now, that dude got off light, really. Was there was this also a possibility there was like a gay guy that found this? You know, wrestling is kind of a gay sport. A bunch of dudes yeah, running sure, around. I'm sure you know, there's uh, plenty of super auto fans. That's a, that's a huge possibility. There's also a possibility it might have been a chick. But clearly it was a gay guy. <laughs> yeah, clearly it was a closeted gay guy. <laughs> gay guy a wrestling fan. Uh, so, yeah, man. Uh, what? What in the, you know, that guy, that guy should be grateful that yeah. he got off that. You, you think he's realized that? Like, he's like, oh shit, I hope no one. Shit, dude, I don't think he has. Yeah, he's still I think like, he's yeah. still like, hell yeah, I'm the guy that outed Lars. Little does he know that he got saved from being outed himself. Yeah, no shit, no one cares about that guy, they just care about Lars. Which really, it's 2020, dude, it's okay. You want to see dudes sucking each other's underwear. Yeah. It's fine. Unless it's Lars. Yeah, and what's was... worse is a scenario where someone's looking for Lars porn because Lars is not a good looking guy. Uh-huh. He's a hideous man beast. Literally, if they ever made a He Man movie, like he'd a... be the Beast Man. Nah, he'd be freaking Trapjaw, dude. That and Trapjaw. He could be either one. He could play both of them. He's got a mad diaper. He's <laughs> yeah, a massive diaper. It works. Um, yeah, it was, it was <laughs> kind of. Mad diaper. <laughs> that a... would be a, like an edgy. Uh, a diaper, adult diaper, mad diaper. <laughs> his his muscle unit made by mad cats. <laughs> God, it breaks. <laughs> You're like, ah oh, man, it's, 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 right, it's right it's, in the ass area. It's the it's the diaper that you give your shitty friend <laughs> to play with. Oh, and he's shitty, all right. Yeah, he's like, why's he got feces in there already? <laughs> Why did it break? And I, and I didn't even put it on yet. <laughs> it's got it's got a hole in the ass. <laughs> It's both for shitting, oh, shitting, shitting, shitting on the couch and, and having sex with Lars. 
Damn, dude, Lars! <laughs> oh, man. Look, long story short, Lars Sullivan is in quite the pickle. If he had anxiety coming onto yeah. the big stage of WWE, imagine now mm -hmm. where WWE is an unforgiving-ass crowd. Yeah. Uh, sometimes to an annoying fault level. Uh, the fact that people still chant what nowadays... And think it's clever and funny or that it's disruptive uh, sucks. I hate it. But, you know, it's, it's, it's the way it is. Do you really think that this guy's not, if he does return, which I doubt now, um, he's not going to get chance? Yeah. Horrible chance? Uh, dude, you got your weenie sucked through your underwear. Damn, homie. I'm I, telling you, he got to come back as like a super gay insanely gay guy yeah the only way yeah you're right the only way to save this is he comes back and he's like he's wearing a pink diaper. yeah and he's like he's like twerking on dudes and shit the reason he's so angry is because no dude will bone him yeah that's the gimmick like he wants the weenie but his weenie won't go up but he wants it yeah he's like that's the anger that's where all the anger yeah. comes from it's the only way you're gonna save this guy man uh, he yeah he's dead in the water man as far as uh, wrestling goes, uh, or I should say as far as WWE goes. Yeah, uh, maybe in the indies somebody will be like, dude, you need to embrace this Damn, shit because otherwise bad, it's not gonna work. Uh, but he's yeah, there's no way to solve this. You gotta embrace that shit. You gotta be the guy that got your weenie sucked through underwear. Yeah, do at like this a, point, do like a shoot or something. And be like, hey, I had to do it, man. I need money. Sucked literally. It sucked ass. But, you know. Yeah, you see, a shoot where, yeah, for those of you not familiar with the lingo of wrestling, a shoot is when, a shoot promo in this case, it'd be somebody speaking uh, on the level of reality, yeah. not on the level of kayfabe or the story, as it were, yeah. or storyline in, in, in wrestling. So he would have to go and do a shoot, pro either one come out as this gay character that's like insatiably lusting for cock to the point where he wrecks men to get to it, yeah. or two, he'd have to come out and do a shoot promo where he's like, dude, look, man, I was young, dumb, and clearly they couldn't suck out my cum, <laughs> but, uh, but I try to get paid for that. It's hard times, Needed make it. you do hard things. Yeah. However, I don't think that would save him because no. of the fact that he had those controversial... Yeah. Uh, uh, posts about people wouldn't be sympathetic to him. They'd be like, "Yeah, you're also the guy that was being hateful," uh, you know, in some respects towards uh, Mexicans and blacks and and, and LGBTQ Z X Y Z whatever the fuck it is now. I gotta say the homie, homie probably just was traumatized over that weenie suck. Yeah, he's definitely traumatized over the weenie. That's probably where his hate for yeah for uh, 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 gay people came from. He was like, "Damn, this dude." Damn. That was a thing did I did. that. Yeah. Self-hatred is a nasty little thing. And clearly Lars is going to have lots of it. These music stupid sounds. All kinds of shit for you. Anything goes inside tonight. Fuck up a cup of juice. These music stupid sounds. All kinds of shit for you. Anything goes 